Hey pharmacist, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing something a little bit different. I've got the Freestyle Libre in front of me, and this is the world's first flash glucose monitoring system. I'm excited to share this with you. We're going to do an unboxing, and in front of me I've got the reader as well as the sensor. So I'll tell you a little bit about what these are, but I'll have another video that explains it in more detail. So let's begin. So let's go ahead and unbox this. I've got two things here, as I said, and I'm going to start with the reader. Um, there is a seal on here, so I do have some scissors. I'm just going to cut that open. And let's see what we've got. All right, so the first thing that shows up is the quick start guide. This has really nice instructions, what it seems like. Um, oh, okay, it's really big. It goes through all the different steps of how to use this, so that's pretty handy. So that's the first thing. The second thing is that in French, because we are in Canada, so we've got both of those. The next is a quick reference guide. Indications for use, contraindications, um, cautions, understanding the glucose readings, when to do a glucose test, lots of different nice pictures and stuff like that. So that's really nice. And then here we go. There's the device. So we've got this in here all sealed up. I'm going to take this off so we can have a better look at it. And as you can see, there's only one button here. And uh, when you get the box and when the patient gets the box, it comes fully charged. So when I turn this on, it should turn on. So let's hope that it does that. So I'm just holding the blue button here. It's not turning. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it just took a second. <laughs> so it's there and it's asking me um, what language. So I'm going to choose English and then I can set the date. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to set the time and I'm going to set the target glucose range. So this is something that you can do with your patients. So I'm going to press next. And then it gives you a bit of instructions as to what you will see. So it shows you these arrows because every time you test, it'll show you whether your glucose is rising quickly, um, staying steady, falling, or falling even really quickly. So I'm going to accept that I acknowledge that and I understand it. And this next screen here is telling me that this is a home button. So you can always just click that to go home. And that's it. So every time the patient presses this blue button, now that we're all set up, they'll see this. And essentially what it is, and I'm going to try and move this closer, um, it's asking you whether you want to start a new sensor or review history. Those are the two main buttons there. And then there's some ones at the top and at the bottom for settings and alarms, which the patient can also set. So I'm just going to put that down for a second and see if there's anything else in this box. Uh, I've got a manual here. It's got a really nice guidebook. I actually saw this online, so I've read this before, and um, it's very handy. It goes through it in, in a lot of great detail. And there's a section at the back for healthcare professionals use only as well, um, because there are some options that you can have and set for your patient. Um, if you call customer service, they should give you a code for that. So let's see what else they have. Your personal customer service. I believe this is a warranty. It is. French and English. And this here is information on performance data. So it's got a lot of great detail here, which is not patient facing, but definitely something you can have a look at if you're interested to know more about the accuracy. And lastly, in the box, we've got the charger. So you've got the USB cable and the adapter, and this can just go into the outlet there. This can connect into that, or you can connect it to the computer and actually export the data from the device onto your computer. So that can be handy too. So that's everything in this box. As you can see, it's empty now. Uh, so now let's move on to the sensor itself. The sensor does need to be replaced every 14 days, so your patient will need a new box um, every two weeks. And this box only has one sensor, and the reason it's so big is because it has an applicator in there, which we will see once we open it. This is the reader, like I said, your patient only needs to purchase this once um, because you can just con they can just continue to use it. So let's go ahead and open the sensor. At the back, there's um, a perforation that says open here, so that's what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to rip it open. I'll discard that. And let's see what we have. So the first thing that you see is obviously a manual that goes through um, this in, in steps. And here we go. We've got 
This is the applicator and we've got the sensor in here. And the last thing that we have in this box are alcohol wipes. So that's good because um, right before the patient puts it on their arm, they'll have to um, swab their, the back of their arm. And this is empty now. So I will put that to the side. And I guess we can go ahead and do a demo and see what that looks like. Let's get started. I've actually got two sensors here because I have a pharmacist friend and colleague, Michael Doe. Hey, pharmacist. And we're going to be trying this out. The reason I've invited him is because he has a podcast called Pharmacy R, and him and his colleague, Becky, have done great work on a podcast related just to this, and we thought it'd be nice to see how this works and uh, do a demo for you. So let's get started. Okay, so what we're going to do is um, step one, We've chosen the arm that we're gonna use. Yep, you're gonna use that one. And we're gonna alcohol swab. We're gonna clean this site. So you should be using a flat site. This does have to dry before uh, you go ahead and put the sensor on. It's really important that the patient knows that their skin shouldn't be oily. Um, if there's a lot of hair there, make sure that they shave it off. Um, it'll just help the uh, sensor stick better. The actual sensor is in here, and this is the applicator, as we said. You'll notice on the applicator there's a line here, okay? You're going to have to line that dark line up with the dark line located in this sensor. So shall we go ahead and do that? Let's do it. Okay. So we're going to be applying these differently. If you watch any of the videos as to how to apply this, they always say to choose the back of your arm and press. Um, Michael knows a bit of a trick where you put it underneath, right? And it's supposed to stick better. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So. We're going to try each one of those and see how it works. Um, but we only have one shot, so let's make sure this is a good one. So peeling this back. All right, that's what it looks like. And let's go ahead and remove this. So it's sealed really well. That's what it looks like. Cheers. <laughs> so the line here, like I said, is going to line up with this line. So let's go ahead and do that. And it should lock into place. And I think we should hear a click. Yep. yep. Okay. I'm a little bit nervous. Should I be? Okay. So that's it. That's, that's what it is. So what you'll see, what your patient will see is a needle. Um, that needle is not going to stay in the arm forever. Um, it's actually going to be a microfilament sensor that gets placed into the arm. The needle just helps with the placement of it. So, okay. Shall we? Yep. Okay. <laughs> I'm nervous. Did it hurt? Did it hurt? Did it hurt? No. Okay. Okay. I felt a little bit of a prick, but not too much. And now? <laughs> All right, that's it. We're done. So I guess we can dispose of these and this will be good for another two weeks. Um, so we'll let you know how it goes. It does have to stay on for an hour before you can actually use the reader to get your first reading. So it just needs to calibrate um, to each of our bodies. So we're going to do that and we'll be back. And we're back. It's been 60 minutes, so we're anxious to see how this works. We're going to go ahead and turn it on by pressing the blue button. And then it'll say check glucose. So let's go ahead and do that. Three, two, one. 3.9, I'm hungry. <laughs> All right, so that's it. It took one second and um, we didn't have to really make contact as long as you keep it within four centimeters. Um, that's good enough. And let's, and you can use it through clothing, which can be great. So for example, I'm wearing my winter coat and I'm gonna show you how this works. So again, I'm at the home screen, check glucose. There we go, it worked, that easy. And there you have it. That's the Freestyle Libre. It's so easy to use, takes one second to do a glucose reading, and it's very discreet. And again, no finger pricking or anything. But there are more things to know about it, so stay tuned for the next video where I'll be telling you some important things. And be sure to watch Pharmacy R's podcast on this topic because they'll go into a lot of great detail, including the accuracy, which patients it would be good for, and so on and so forth. So thanks for tuning in and see you next time. Bye pharmacist.